Hello everyone! Welcome to Cooking Curbs Coding Class. While you probably already knew that HTML has an image tag, you may not have known that HTML also has a picture tag. The HTML image tag is used to display a single image. The only way this image will ever change is if you change its source URL with JavaScript. But, but that's pretty inefficient. Let's say you have an image that's extremely high resolution, and you want people with big screens with lots of pixels to be able to see that full image. But for people with a smaller screen with less pixels, they don't need to load that entire image. With JavaScript, this would be very complicated, as you would have to delay the loading of the image until after you've detected the person's screen size, and then if they had actually just had a smaller window, then you wouldn't load the entire image. Well, that's where the picture tag comes in. The picture tag has three parts. The first part is the picture tag. The second part, and you can have as many of these as you want, is a source tag, which tells the browser two things a rule for when this image should be displayed, and the source URL to that image. The last part of a picture tag is just a standard image tag, which is displayed whenever one of two things happens. The first is none of the rules that are in the source tags are true, or the browser does not support the picture tag. Okay, let's go over them. The first thing is just a picture tag, so you open and close a tab called picture. Next, the source tag. The source tag is just a tag called source. It has two attributes that you need to worry about. The first one is the media attribute, which is a CSS media rule. And the second is the SRC set attribute, which defines the source URL of the image it represents. And you don't actually close the source tag. It's kind of like an input tag. OK, so let's go over the media attribute. The media attribute is a CSS media rule. So you know how in CSS you can go at symbol media only screen and in parentheses max dash width colon 600 pixels, which means that these rules will only apply if the screen is 600 pixels or less. Well, what you do is you just grab that bit in parentheses. So whatever your screen size or whatever you're trying to define is true and put that into the attribute. Now there's also a way of doing this without the media attribute, but it's a little confusing and it's easier just to use the media attribute and there's no advantages to putting it all inside the SRC set attribute. So if you want to know how to do that, look it up on MDM. I'll put a link in the description. So lastly, we have the image tag. It's just a normal image tag. You put it there at the end and if none of the rules inside the source tags are true, then that's what you get displayed. Yeah, that's it. That's the whole thing. That's the HTML picture tag. It's like an image tag, but with more features. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch if you want. And remember, what time is it?